This is the biggest thing I've reviewed yet, and something a bit different for the channel. I'm Techify, and this is my review of the Noble Chairs Legend. So guys, let's get into this. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and join the Techify Discord. Chair reviews are not something I've done before, so definitely leave me some feedback about what you'd like to see and what I could do better. While I've been at this setup, I've been using a cheap IKEA chair, which is not very comfortable. And I used to use the chair, which you saw in my older videos, which was some like knockoff gaming chair. It wasn't super cheap, but it definitely wasn't a great chair either. The format of this review will be a bit different as well. I find even a G502 heavy, so I'm definitely not gonna sit in my normal chair and wave around this 30 kilo chair above my head. I wanna clarify as well that Noble Chairs did send me this chair. I wanna make sure though this review is as unbiased and critical as always, but do bear in mind I don't have that much experience with this chair's competitors. So I may say something is really good for example, and actually is just pretty normal. Logically, the first thing is building the chair and that was a relatively simple experience. Everything you need is included in the box, including all the tools, which makes it really simple. There are really clear instructions as well. The instructions recommend getting a friend to help build the chair, lucky for some, but I did it by myself and it still only took about 25-30 minutes and I wasn't exactly trying to do it fast. The instructions are very clear and simple and most things are quite self-explanatory anyway, so I don't think building the chair is much of a problem. When you're building it, I must say I did get a feeling of quality, everything just had like a nice weight to it and a nice feel to it and you just felt like you were putting together a really high quality product. Mine is made of a German high-tech PU leather. This is what a lot of the colorways are, however you can get the legend in some different colors and materials. Mine is black, white and red, with the Techify color being red, that was the obvious choice. The red isn't as red as you may think, it is, you know, more of a maroon color, but it is quite nice. It makes the chair feel less bright and gamery and actually more subtle and professional looking. Overall, I am a really big fan of the design. Aesthetically, all the stitching and things like that are just really nice. I'll put some dimensions on screen now. I'm not a particularly big guy by any means, I've got plenty of space to move around in this chair, but I'm still comfortable even though that I'm not making full use of the side supports all the time. Comfort wise, I have only had this chair a few days, but I don't think my opinion is going to change anytime soon. That being said, once I've had this chair a few months, if you guys enjoy this video, I'll definitely make an update. It's definitely not super soft, you don't just sit on it and sink into it, it's a bit of a firmer design I'd say. I personally quite like this, but this is a personal preference thing. I think one of the benefits of being firmer as well is it can keep you in a nice position which is going to be better ergonomically. And to get you in that good position you have plenty of adjustability. Obviously you've got your normal height up and down as you'd expect. The range of heights isn't absolutely massive but it should be more than enough, you don't need any unnecessary adjustments. The arms I believe have four ways of adjustment but we'll test them all now so you've got up and down as you'd expect. They can move in and out and then with a the button at the front they can move forwards and back as well as tilt in both directions. I'm not sure why it bother you, but with all these axes of adjustment, you do get a little bit of play in the fixed armrest position. You can use the lever on the side to tilt back. You don't tilt back ridiculously far, but it's way more than enough than you need when gaming. You do want to go back in further. You can combine it with a rocker function and you can, and you can get nice and comfortable. With all this adjustment, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to find a comfortable position. Something I do really like though is with this knob here, you have adjustable lumbar support built into the chair itself. It's not a massive amount of adjustment, but it is just enough to just get you really comfortable and get the perfect position for you in the chair. You also are included with a neck pillow, which you can optionally use, and a pillow for more lumbar support or whatever. I'm not, I'm not some chair expert, but you, you put it behind your back where you sit. This one obviously just slides over the top with the strap. This one is free sitting, however, there are these straps included and little loopholes, so I believe you can rig it up and move it and keep it secure. There wasn't instructions for that, I don't believe, and I couldn't figure it out, but I'm happy with it loose. With the last bit of mobility, I guess, the wheels and spinningness, which aren't that relevant, I guess, the spinning just feels so smooth all the way around. I know that doesn't matter at all when you're gaming, but it just goes along with it feeling like a really high quality product. And then with the wheels, even on carpet, I can move around fine. I'm not getting stuck, so that's nice. It just makes moving around again in and out so much easier. What is the verdict then of the Noble Chairs Legend? Well, as a non-chair expert, I just sit in this chair and I think it's really comfortable. It feels really well built and made of high quality materials. And especially compared to the chairs I've used in the past, it just feels a level above that. I have actually sat in a friend's Secret Labs chair before, and I must say this just does feel a bit above that. That being said, it is a level above that in price. 
I think ultimately it's one of those products where there's nothing fundamentally wrong with it. It is a good product. It's just whether you think it's worth the price and whether you'd happily pay that for it. This chair is quite pricey, starting at $640 or £420, and I believe in this colour it's $689 or £460. So that is certainly a lot of money to spend on a chair, and you can buy so many other things for that amount of money, whether that be for your gaming setup, PC, or just something else in life altogether. I think if you spend any significant amount of time in your chair, it is the bit of your setup you use the most, you're always going to be sat in the chair, whether you're on your computer or you're doing some other form of work. I do think this chair is worth the price tag, but I don't know if I could justify spending that much on a chair personally. In the long term, it's going to benefit you and a chair, if you get the right one especially and you find it comfortable, is going to last you absolutely ages, especially something that's high quality and built well like this. You can even buy spares for it on the Noble Chairs website. So if for some reason something does break in the future, you might even be able to repair it. And I think I want to leave you guys with that and let me know in the comments, do you think this is just way too much for a chair? Do you think you should spend any money on a chair at all or do you not care? What do you think is the right amount of money to spend on a chair for gaming or just office in general? This video was different and new for me so any feedback would be appreciated. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.